Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. I'm here at Rawhide Western Town. We're shooting a little movie today. You know what? Let's check it out. In the past, I've taken you to a few Old West theme parks and movie sets here in Arizona. Well, there are more. I've been wanting to get to Rawhide Western Town near Phoenix, and last week that opportunity presented itself. Dirty Dan and Doreen were working wardrobe for a Western called Bite the Ground, which was filming up there. Dan is in his element. I was glad to be in it and get to document the town for you all in between takes. Keep them doggies moving, Rawhide. Rawhide was started in 1971 by entrepreneur Jim Paul. Similar to other Old West venues, it's a theme park with a large eating establishment. Originally, the town was rooted in Scottsdale, Arizona, and thrived there for many years. It was also the location for the Festival of the West, which is a big gala offering entertainment and shopping for enthusiasts of the era. In 2005, it was decided to move Rawhide to the Gila Indian Reservation so that Scottsdale could build more housing. The new location is actually very cool with the mountains in the distance, and it certainly has that Old West feel. Hurry, 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 take the ride on the Rawhide Stagecoach. Oh, oh, oh. There were stagecoach rides and other attractions as well as the Rawhide Rough Riders stunt show to keep the family entertained. I say were because nowadays the town is open to the public for special events only. Even us ghost riders have performed out here. I have died there about 10 or 15 times, and there about eight times. But who's counting? For the last two weeks, Rawhide has been a movie location. The day I was able to attend the scene was a boxing match. This is a movie first for me, and it was a great experience. To see the camera angles and how the stunt actors sell the punches was fascinating. Now that I know the tricks, it's time to watch Rocky again. Bust you up. Go for it. So we're here with the director of Bite the Ground. His name is Chris Sheffield. Yes. Um, we call you a chef, right? Yes. You Are you going to cook chef. for us today? or Sorry? Are you cooking for us, or is it a different kind of chef? Uh, cooking some cinema, just that. Cinema, okay, yeah, great. some movies. Well, tell, tell me, real quickly, what are we shooting today? So today we're shooting the big prize fight sequence. This is uh, one of like the bigger sequences in the film. It's towards the end of the film, and it's part of the uh, climax. So we've got like a dual climax going on. We've got a huge gunfight and we've got a huge fist fight. Oh, so wow. today we're shooting the huge fist fight portion. Oh, great. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely something uh, that George, one of the producers, George Nelson, came mm -hmm. to me and this was like a huge thing that he wanted in the film. Uh, and we were excited to do it because we love action. We love hand-to-hand -hand fights. Uh, so it was going to be really fun to coordinate. So, oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Well, thanks very much for letting me do this today. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for being here, man. There's a fight coming. Standing next to me all day was an old acquaintance, Rob Trigg. Rob is a local radio personality, but also plays one of the best drunks to step into the Old West genre. Well, hey, don't you look attractive. What is your <laughs> name, and what are you doing in this here movie? I'm Rob Trigg, and I'm drinking. You're drinking? Okay. <laughs> I'm drunk the entire time. Is that right? It's a, it's a method thing. I'm a method actor. Method actor? I'm over there in the bar, and next thing you know, they got me out here, and this is what I do. Is that right? He has entertained folks for years, just staggering around wearing a shirt that there isn't much left of. Uh, you enjoying yourself today? Nope. Wait till I'm drunk. Oh. Seeing Rob and some of the other Rough Riders was a welcome trip down memory lane. Hey, I'm here with George Nelson. You're playing a major role in this here film, aren't you? I am. I'm playing Dutch. Dutch. Is that a good guy or a bad guy? It's a good guy. A good guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're kind of a good guy. Kind of. You know. We're having a great time on the film. Um, yeah. Things are going super good. Uh, this is a film that's been 20 years in the making. Both Russell and I, Russell plays Waco. Uh, we started this project 20 years ago and it's finally come to fruition. Good. I'm really glad to hear it. Good luck today and have fun. Awesome. Thanks, John. Hey, I know this old stunt guy. What are you <laughs> doing today? Well, I'm doing a few things today. I will be on camera today. Uh, I might or might not be getting shot. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Uh, I know, there's Damn. already a line forming. There's people wanting to shoot me from wardrobe to art department, all of it. And then there's this guy, Ed Yeah, Walker. I know this guy too. 
Say hi, Ed. Get in there real quick. Hi, Ed. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> good to be seen. Oh, cool. Well, my name is Aaron Ginn Forsberg, and I get to play the role of Thaddeus Vincent. Uh, he is a delight if you really like bad guys. Oh, he's a bad guy? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, so. So, so you're smiling now. Is that to get all the smiles out so you can be grimacing and frowning later on? Or, or is he a smiling bad guy? No, he's kind of diabolical. And what kind of scenes are we shooting today? We get to shoot uh, a big scene, lots of extras and stuff. It's a big boxing match day. And I will sit in my throne and watch everything go down. I think there's, uh, there's some gunfighting oh. that's happening. And uh, I do believe I get to shoot somebody. I'll check this out. Yeah. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I get thanks a lot. I, I get appreciate to fire it. Uh, Little Cricket, they've told me, is, is the name. Oh, the of Little the gun. Cricket? Oh, okay. Not the one from uh, Men in Black. Different little yeah, cricket? I think it's, I think oh. it's a, little, a different one. All yeah. right. Well, thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate it. Yeah. My name is Pat McMahon. Uh, some remember me as Dave Pratt. Uh, however, beyond all of that recognition, I'm here to keep a certain level of class and dignity uh, in the prize ring. Camera is set and action. Here we go. I've never been involved with anything that had dignity or class, so this will be a first. I am Roger Pulaski, and uh, in this movie, I'm a background extra. Awesome. Well, you look terrific. Thank you, sir. Hey, look who it is in all of his niceties. And you brought my guns to me. Your guns? Yeah, they're my guns, aren't they? No, they're not. Well, I don't have a gun today, so can I choose one of yours? I'll let you use the bullets first. Okay. I'm Cricket. We're out here on the set of Bite the Ground to get some filming done today. I really love your outfit a lot. Oh, it's you. just very cool. What would you call it? Uh, I'd call it. It's kind of cold out painting. today. Wow. <laughs> so Pretty I'm cool. Putting I mean, on you, a lot of fur. You're sure everything's not living on that coat, right? You no, know, I'm not going to lie. There's a, there's a high probability. I got to check in on it sometimes, but good, good. we'll see awesome. okay at the moment. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. We'll see you Thank later. You. See ya. It was a terrific day full of laughter, talent, western movie making, and fake blood. A lot of fake blood. Weedy Pete, how do you think the fight went? You know, I don't really remember. No? To be quite honest. Yeah, well, you look good. I, I think a couple stitches, you'll be all right. All right. He cost Thanks. me two bits. You and your two bits! I'm glad to have brought you some behind the scenes, and I'll be sure to keep you all updated on this movie. Well, folks, now you've seen Rawhide Western Town. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. We'll catch you later, okay? See ya. Huh. You don't see that every day. Interesting. Turn around. <laughs> I can teach you how they kiss in France. Here, let me clean up my good tooth for you. What do you think, baby?